Jared, what's happening? That's right. We're going to get to the general market in a second, but I want to show what's happening with Twitter because Elon Musk says, well, essentially funding secured. He has commitment letters for $46.5 billion. That is what he needed, about $25.5 billion from banks, and then he's going to float another $21 billion himself or so in stock. And we can see Twitter kind of oscillating around the unchanged here, uh, not really doing much over the last five days, up 2%. But that drama still unfolding. Elon Musk has also formed holding companies, three of them, to facilitate, uh, facilitate this transaction. So there's some speculation that X Holdings 1, X Holdings 2, even X Holdings 3 could portend some kind of deeper merger in the future, but that's just speculation right now. Want to get to the general market where we are seeing stocks on a downtrend and also bonds on an uptrend. This is the S&P 500 today. Without stealing too much thunder from Yahoo Finance's Brian Chung, who's going to be with us in a minute, uh, this has to do with daily and also Powell's comments. So we want to take a look at the bond market as well. We got the 10-year T-note yield uh, screaming higher. I'm going to show you this. Look at this. Five-year T-note yield 2.98%, 10-year T-note yield 2.92%, 30-year 2.94%. That is flat. Uh, before we go, want to take a quick check of the travel sector and show you what the airlines are doing. United posting a nice beat and outlook going to be profitable by the second quarter. It is up 8.7%. American up 3.8%.